Hi everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi! Uh, we're come, today we're going to be working on a little craft. Uh, I decided to um, strip apart the little flower pot that I made with the, the glass beads. Because I, I just didn't really care for it. But yeah, I, just, I had another idea. Another idea started swimming around in my head of what else I could do with it. So... So come on down, I'll show you what I've done so far. Well, here you can see the fish bowl um, that I had originally used for the, um, what do you call it, the gem flower pot. And I decided I didn't like that, so I took it apart and now I'm redoing it to something else. Um, as you can see, there's little dots all over it and the reason there's little dots on it is because I want to make sure I'm gonna be putting these little hearts on it and I wanted to make sure that they're all evenly spaced so I just took an eyeliner and an eyeliner I don't use <laughs> and I used my little measuring tape and they're about one inch apart all the way around so, I got my hot glue gun here, and we're just going to, well, I should probably take the um, hearts out first. That might make things a little easier. And I got these off Wish. Let me show you. Yeah, I got those off Wish. Hopefully you can see them. Yep, two dollars. So we're just gonna go on to go all the way around the little blue dots and attach all those little hearts. So and I don't want to burn myself, so I'm attaching the glue first, and then I'll put the heart down. Just like that. You can see it's covering up the blue dot. So, and I'll try to wipe off some of this excess glue while it's still wet. Try to use not so much. Not so much. Almost to the end. Yay. Yay. Yippee yay yay. And one last heart. And there. Yep, we got some hot glue spider webs. That's okay. That'd be okay. What do we got so far? Isn't that pretty? Now bring it out. Let's see if I can get that blue off of there. That's oh, fine. It'd be fine. No. Hmm. I got so much to do. My brain is just all over the place. So what are we gonna do next? Okay. <clears throat> now, um, on this here, let me pull this back. This here is just two bobby pins with some of those. Um, you know how you put those things in the bottom of a like a for fake flowers and you shove them in well i just took two bobby pins shoved them in some of that tied some twine to the top of it 
and it's about two inches wide I'd say and that's pretty much all I did what I'm gonna do those I am going to hot I'm gonna put that to the side I'm going to hot glue this little piece of twine to the top because it keeps wanting to slide down like that I don't want it to do that so I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue right at the top to glue that twine in place just wait a minute while it dries and then I'm gonna do the same to the other side dry 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 okay let's do the same to the other side Put in a blob of hot glue in there. And we're going to pull that up in there. That glue will hold it. Yep, oh, move my thinner out of the way so you can see. Can you see it? Am I having it too close? I hope you can see it. Just waiting for it to dry. I need some clothes pin. What exactly it was I was going to do with this. And so I've been fooling around with this and fooling around with that. And so. And now we just got two little mini clothespins. All I did was I just drew out a little pattern. For a little skirt. And I drew out a little pattern for a little shirt, and I drew um, two, so I could, glue, and I tacky glued them together, so you didn't see the inside out on the other side. Big pieces. But what I'm gonna have to do is bend it that way. that over. Actually, I might need to glue those on. But, hey, you're learning with me as we do this. Yeah, I think I'm going to glue those on with just a little bit of hot glue because I think it would be better that way. So I'm just putting a teeny bit on there. Come on, hot glue. Come out. I hate when that happens. Come on, there we go. Probably a little bit too much, but that's fine. That'd be fine. I'll just try not to glue my, burn myself, that is. While I hold that up there. And I know you're not probably, probably not seeing much of what I'm doing, but right now I'm just trying to glue this baby on here. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to dry. Then I'll put a little drop of glue on that too while I put the clothespins on it. That's dry enough. Okay, we'll do the same with the shirt. And we'll stick the shirt on there. There. I know I'm working with really small stuff, so it's probably hard for you to see. But I will show you once I got it glued on. It's just an upside down shirt. Yeah, it's still a little tacky, but it's not hot no more. Okay, now we're going to put a little dollop. A little dot of a daisy. Just a little bit. Come on, just a little bit. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're going to put a clothespin on. Come on. Function with me here. Yeah. 
And we'll be doing the same thing with the shirt. Okay, there. The hot glue gun. can't see what I'm doing cause my fingers in the way but we're just pushing this down into the glue and I see where the other one's gonna go it's gonna go right there Okay. Yeah, let's do it again. Get in there with my thinner. Push it down. It's gonna have to be good enough. Can you see it? Even with the glare. I hope so. I hope you can. Okay. Now what to do next? That's the question. We got a lot more stuff to glue in. So we're gonna, um... I took these flowers. I use these in my floating um, water can thing. These white flowers. But again, I put them on these things because I intend on gluing them to the bottom of the fish bowl. And I'm just going to throw them here, there, and everywhere. That was, that's the plan. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one like right here in front of that um, thingamajiggy. So I'll just put some more glue in there. Don't matter how much you use. Because you're not going to see it. You will not see it. And I'll show you once I have it stuck in there good. The flower. Now I made a couple of them, but I probably won't use them all. I think I like that one. And I'm just going to put this one right over here. It's a big old blob. And again, shove it in there before it dries. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's what it looks like so far. I can't see it. Put I took a piece of gold wiring that I got from the Dollar Tree and this little butterfly I got from Wish and I just glued it on there and things are sticking to my arm. I'm just going to put some um, hot glue on the tip and I'm going to shove it in one of these. Because I want it to stay in there. Then we're going to shove him, this, this in there too, if I could talk. Definitely think it should be by a flower. I think I'll put it right there. So I'm just going to shoot some hot glue right behind this flower. 
And I'm just going to kind of just put this one in there kind of to the side. Just let it dry. Oh no, that's fine. It didn't fall off completely. Okay, what we're going to do next is I'm going to put the top on this glue. <laughs> now I have my moss and it is time to do some covering of things. So I'm just going to kind of just let it fall in there and I'll kind of spread it around with my thinners carefully to cover up all that bottom stuff. Use my knife to push it around. Put some behind that flower. I'm going to need a little bit more. And I'm just kind of shoveling it around with my knife. And I'm just going to kind of reach in there and push down. This is um, one of those shot glasses they got from the dollar store. Just kind of squeeze behind there, push it down. Okay, now, um, I might put these back here. Ugh. Drop it. Doof. I just want to see what it's going to look like if I did. Yeah, I think I will. I just have to move the moss up a little bit. <clears throat> and then drop some hot glue back there. And just push it down on its not on its side. Come on before it dries. There we go. I'm going to reach your finger down in there and push it down. I got to it in time. And the moss will stand it up the way I want it to stand. But I got to do one more. Okay, now what we're going to do is, um, I, took, I had this little fairy, I had bought it quite a while ago, and I had this little tiny bucket, and so I cut out some more clothes, and I draped them over the side and glued them on with tacky glue, and then I glued her on with tacky glue, and I'm just going to set her inside here. And then I have this other little fairy. And I'm just gonna glue her onto here. These came to get these came together along with that other little fairy. So I'm just gonna glue her down onto this little flower. I keep thinking that thing's gonna fall. Just like that. And 
and I'll go ahead and glue her in as well. And there, it's all done. Now, as you're going to see, I'm back. As you're going to see, I have removed the flowers that I had initially put behind the clothespins. And I took out the little two little fairies that I had put in there. I turned the little butterfly around so that it's showing outside the flower pot instead of in. And I think it looks better with less flowers in there, too. It's less cluttered. And I decided that I'm not going to put both angels in. Not angels, but fairies in. I'm only going to put this fairy in with the little wash pot. And I want to glue her directly to the bottom of the, um, the thing. But instead of having to remove everything, I'm just going to clear a spot for her. And I'm just going to glue her on in there. So let's put some glue on the bottom of her little basket. And we're just going to put her on in and push her down. And one of the um the little clothes lines came undone. So I'm just gonna touch it up with this put a little bit of glue over the top of it. I'll hold that baby in place. There. That's all I gotta do with that. But yeah, I intend on getting a little tea light to put in there. Probably not not a real tea light, but one of those um electronic ones. Well, not electronic ones, but battery operated ones. But isn't that cute? Isn't that darling? She's got a little clothesline behind her doing her laundry. But we're not done yet. I got some glass over here. This is a piece of carnival glass that my mom had picked up at a yard sale. And I thought it was so pretty, and she gave me one of them. She had more than one. I'm going to see if I can steal some more off her because they're so pretty. But what we're going to do is we're going to put that little fairy just like that. Just like that. So we're going to take our glue gun again, and we're going to glue the heck out of this. I don't want that little fairy going anywhere. Let's try to get her center now. And she is done. Isn't she darling? Let's bring her back a little bit. Isn't she darling? And I'll save the other fairy for another DIY in the future. Yeah. But, yep, yeah, that is it. That's my little fairy terrarium. And um, the fish bowl, a dollar store. The moss, dollar store. The flowers, dollar store. Um, the fishing line that I attached the butterfly to, that's from the dollar store. The little butterfly itself, that came from Wish. The little bucket that the little angel, um, I keep on to call them angels, that the fairy was sitting on that came from Wish. Um, the clothing that I, cu I cut the clothing out. I just made tiny little patterns, you know, and the material came from Wish. Um, these little, um, these things, they're from Wish. And as for the little, um, the clothespins, you can either get them at Wish or the uh, dollar store. The little um, fairy, I got that off um, Collections Etc. I will put a link to it down in the description. As for the little um, carnival glass, I can't help you with that one because my mom got that at a yard sale. So, yeah, when you go go yard sale and just keep an eye out for some pretty glass. It's pretty much all you can do. But, yeah, so here, pick her up. My little pretty terrarium with the little fairy doing her laundry. Yeah. 
But that's it. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And right here is going to be my little picture. So click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet. I post new videos every day. So until next time, bye.